Hello. Today we'll be talking about translations. And translations are going to be, in a way, quite similar to the reflections that we talked about the other day. Uh, you're still going to have pre-image points. Uh, you're still going to call them A or B or C, Q or whatever. Uh, we're still going to want to plot those on a coordinate plane. And we're still going to do something to this A and this B and this C to turn them into A prime and B prime and C prime. But instead of being reflected over a line, we're going to be given a more direct command called a function that will tell us what to do to each point to make it arrive at its final destination. Let's start by plotting the pre-image points. 3, 5, point 8 is 3, 5, and that goes in the first quadrant right about there. Point B is at 1, negative 2. That's going to be in the fourth quadrant. Point C, negative 3, 0, ends up smack dab on the x-axis. Now let's get to the actual function, the translation that's going to tell us what to do with these pre-image points. Don't be intimidated by the kind of weird looking symbols. It's not as bad as it looks. All it's really saying is, take every x value from the pre-image points and translate it by adding 2 to it. So for us, a prime is going to show up not with an x-coordinate of 3, but with an x-coordinate of 3 plus 2, which is 5. For the y value, you're going to want to subtract 1 from every y-coordinate. So a had a y-coordinate of 5. We're going to subtract 1 from that. Of course, get 4. And if you plot that point, 5, 4, a prime ends up right about there. Let's do the same thing for b. b prime is going to show up not with an x value of 1, but with an x value of 1 plus 2. And it's not going to have a y value of negative 2. It's going to have a y value of negative 2 minus 1. 3, negative 3 you end up down here. For C prime, if you add 2 to the x coordinate, you get a negative 1. If you subtract 1 from the y coordinate, you also get a negative 1. When you plot negative 1, negative 1, you end up here. And you'll notice, perhaps, every point has shifted 2 units to the right down 1. 2 units to the right, down 1. 2 units to the right, down 1. It's not a coincidence. If you add 2 to an x value, you're going to slide right on the graph. If you subtract from a y value, since the y's go up and down, you're going to go down. That's why we went right 2, down 1, every time. Another way that you'll sometimes be given this translation is instead of in a function like this, you'll be given what's called a translation vector. A translation vector is a more concise way of, of giving this translation. First of all, you need to know what, what a vector looks like. It, the command is really just like an ordered pair, but instead of using parentheses, they use these pointy brackets, for lack of a better phrase. Um, and the x-coordinate is just whatever you'd add on to the x-value in each ordered pair. The y-coordinate is whatever you'd add on to each y-value. Since we subtracted 1, we're really going to put a negative 1 in. So this, is, this translation vector is another way that you'll see translation commands given to you. You should know how to do both. I don't think either one is going to destroy you. So um, have fun. <laughs>